Right, Nuclear device went off in Houston. Thousands are killed. Significant damage uh, within the blast area. Even more are missing and trapped. Cell phone towers, landlines, power was cut. Help! Others are injured Help! and exposed to radiation. Water was contaminated. It's only a scenario. The nuclear attack is not real. Well, this seems, you know, something out of our worst nightmares. But they train like it could happen at any moment. In an event like this, this could uh, potentially be America's worst day. These soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines make up a massive response team called the Joint Task Force Civil Support. And they specialize in chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear disasters. I think it's a critical capability and extremely important uh, that we get it right. As part of this scenario, the task force has come in to assist with the local and state agencies as they try to contain the radiation while saving lives. We had a slab, a block, that was laying literally on our victim. Some soldiers help with the search and rescue, while others help decontaminate victims from the simulated nuclear blast. If there's doctors, there's medics, medical personnel, there's chemical experts. Well, the task force is complex. I'll put it this way, it's not easy. With each unit playing their part. It requires a lot of you physically, mentally. So that if a disaster were to strike. It requires you to be focused and requires you to work as a team. They would be ready to deploy at a moment's notice. If called upon this mission, it's, it's an extremely serious day for America. On Fort Hood, Tiffany Pelt. Channel 6 News. Okay. He might not be.